Hey, slow down. What are you doing racing around the city like that? I'll tell you, but only if you beat me, okay? The rule is simple. Keep up! Don't think you can beat me because I'm a kid. I'll tell you where the finish line is eventually. Ready, set, go! The goal is the Nord Station! Get ready to lose! You said you were going to tell me what's going on if I won. You're going to keep your word, aren't you? It's nothing exciting or anything like that. It's just that the whole city seems so gloomy, don't you think? Everyone's so lifeless and boring. I thought this was a good way to add a little excitement. Show people how to have fun. I won't say it was a bad idea, but weren't there other ways? Maybe, but running's about the only thing I'm really great at. Yeah, I have to admit, you're pretty fast, but not as fast as me. Well, I'm happy if I helped you get your mind off things even for a little bit. See ya! Um... Lightning. Ha! That's a perfect name for someone fast like you. I'll beat you next time, Lightning. Welcome. Are you looking for rare items from the Wildlands? I've got a mighty fine selection. I see you're a woman who knows exactly what she wants. It's a mighty fine product, that one. This is used for only the finest medicines. I was afraid I'd never be able to sell this baby. Thank goodness you came along to change that. It's a little rich for most folks. It looks like one of those old-fashioned pens. It also looks like someone deliberately buried it here.
on the roof. It's too high for me to reach. How do I get it down? My ball! Thank you! Wow, you can climb anything, can't you? What are you doing here all by yourself? I'm waiting for my brother. He's a bounty hunter. He left to fight a really scary monster that came out of the chaos. He went to kill it with some friends a while ago. And he hasn't come back? No, and it's already been five days. That's a long time. Look, I know you're worried about him, but you have to take care of yourself, too. It wouldn't do your brother any good if you got yourself killed out here. I'm okay. Besides, it's my job to wait right here till he comes back. He's really strong. I know he'll be back soon. I'm sure he will be. If I see him around, I'll tell him you're waiting for him and that he should hurry home. Thanks. Now that I have my ball back, I have something to play with until he gets here. Don't worry about me. I'm okay on my own. Thank you again for my ball. Are you okay? Oh, thank goodness. I was hoping you'd answer. I'm sorry I ran away without waiting for you. I'm just glad you're all right. What happened? Well, I managed to get away from those people from before, but now... Uh, I think I'm lost. Let me get this straight. You're not hurt, just lost. And they're not chasing you anymore? The people that were after you before? Yes, thank you. I'm all right now. Look around you. Do you see any landmarks? Can you describe what you see? Um, I see... I see a bunch of shops nearby. How far from the South Station are you? Pretty far, I think. I didn't think about where I was going. I just ran. It's kind of messy here with a bunch of little streets. All right, I'll come find you. Stay there. Don't move an inch. Okay, I'll, I'll stay here. And, um... Yeah? I promise this isn't a hoax. You might not believe I'm telling the truth. I'll be waiting for you. I hope you'll come and find me. If you don't come, I... <sighs> Louise? Louise! What was she trying to tell me? I realize this is out of the blue, but, uh... You don't happen to be looking for a little girl named Louise. I am. How did you know that? Well, a good guess. I've fallen for her old pranks myself once or twice. 
pranks? Yeah, she's a bored little girl with too much time on her hands. No one around here takes her seriously anymore. Think about it, I mean, she's been living here for several hundred years. Several hundred years. I mean, how easily could she get lost? Of course, just because she sounds like a child. No child in this world is truly a child any longer. And even if she is lost, I mean, it's not as though she's hurt or in any kind of danger or something. Eh, I'm sure someone will help her out. Hope, what do you think? This is just another one of her famous pranks. The way she got cut off seemed real. Miss Mighty Savior, what can I do for you on this fine day? If I can be of any help. Oh, I see you didn't just wander in here by accident, did you? Not everyone knows what this is used for. You must know your stuff. Thank you very much. Did she say messy little streets? She has to be talking about old town. I saw a woman with rose-colored hair around these parts the other night. Quite mysterious. She seemed to have been inspecting the crime scene. There was something almost ethereal about her presence. She was something. I hear rumors of the murder victims returning from the beyond. You know, the ones killed by the children of Etro. Apparitions go against the Order's beliefs. I suspect this is all nothing more than a wild rumor fanned by superstition. A lot of strange rumors are going around. People are whispering about ghosts and ghouls, of being haunted by dead girls. You don't believe them, do you? I like to keep an open mind. If the stories are true, I'd like to help those people. They died because of me. As much as I hate to say this, you're not omnipotent. As the savior, you don't have the power to save the dead. Hello? Would you like to buy some tears? I can make you a great deal. I swear you won't regret it. You're selling your tears? That's not something you see every day. That's right. People say my tears are beautiful and majestic. <laughs> they can't get enough. Some even call them the tears of an angel. Would you like to see? <sighs> Never mind. I, I guess I can't sell them to you. But you've already taken my money. Don't dwell on the money. It's not about that. I can't sell my tears to just anybody you know. I've never met a merchant who was bold enough to choose their customers. I know, but I'm special. <laughs> I can't give you a refund, but instead you can ask me anything you want. Anything at all. <laughs> no thanks, I'd rather not. Then what if I tell you a story that'll make you want to ask me something? You see, I used to be an actress. This was a long time ago. But then, one day, that thing happened. And I had to quit. <sighs> I can't do much, but I can cry on cue. That's what prompted me to start this business. Come on, aren't you even the teeniest bit curious why I quit acting, hmm? Not really, but I'll listen if you want me to. <laughs> Reverse psychology, huh? I'm not falling for that. Besides, I already gave you your money's worth. And that's all for today. If you want more, come back another time.
On a trip down Chaos Lane? Picked up any seeds on the way? Hmm? Oh, I see you've decided to make the right choice. Special something for my little worker bee. So we meet again, Savior. Uh, not by choice. Oh, excuse me. I had no idea. You are so subtle. Just one hint, though. Go see that Chocoboco chick. She asked you to save Saz, didn't she? It's no wonder. She can't help worrying about him. So, how do they know each other? Oh, and here I just assumed you knew. Well, I guess you'll understand when you get all the soul fragments. Didn't she tell you that she'd run straight to Sass's place when that happens? Spheres were clean, every one of them. Not even a hint of anything dangerous. Yes, uh, actually, I just found out the same thing on my end. Apparently, the whole thing was all just a big joke. Not a very funny one. Really? Damn it, this isn't the time for pranks. You're telling me. It was a young girl named Lumina. She's usually lurking around the cathedral. She said the spheres were supposed to be a gift for whoever found them. I should have guessed. She also left behind a message. A present from me to you. Good luck saving all our souls. Why, she thought the savior would find them. Why, that would make you the savior. <laughs> if you see her around, tell her thanks for the extra supplies. And that I don't believe in luck. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell her that. She likes to have a little fun sometimes, but she means no harm. She knows her boundaries. She knows when enough is enough. Really? That's hard to believe. That little devil causes trouble everywhere she goes, and everywhere she doesn't. Now, now, we all need to give her a break. After all, these are trying times, and we all need to let off a little steam sometimes. She helps us laugh a little, and lightens the mood for all of us.
I have something for you. Here. Is this really what I think it is? Are you absolutely sure that I can have this? I said you could, didn't I? Now go and take it to your father. Oh, I, I will. Thank you. You know, you may have just saved his life. You're one of the good ones. I didn't think there were many of you left. I don't know what to say. I just about lost faith in everyone. Did you tell people about your situation? If they knew... I tried, but no one even bothered to hear me out. And it wasn't even about the money. They just didn't want to get involved. I can't blame them for avoiding a poor girl from the Warren. I'd about given up when you came by. You were the only one who bothered to ask if anything was wrong, you know that? I guess there's still a bit of light in this city after all. Of course there is. It took a while, but you ended up getting what you needed to help your father, didn't you? Even though the world is consumed with darkness, people are still willing to help others. Have some faith. You're right. So what are you? Some kind of angel sent from the heavens or something? I know the world is ending soon and there's little time to do much else. But I pray the rest of your days are bright and full of bliss for you and your loved ones. And that's the truth. soon. 